Only use knife trade a concept. One, one, one for the money, bet I'm taking the wager. Two for the show, bet Oh yeah! Modern Warfare 3 is here finally. <laughs> this is a little bit late coming to you with my impressions, but I thought I'd do it anyways, because why not? I figured I'd give the game a fair chance, try it out for a few days before I just have a rash reaction and say, Oh my god, this game sucks! and stuff like that. But really, I don't know, I like the game. There are some things I think could be improved. I don't really care for the map design so much. With It's just really flat. There's not a lot of like stuff to jump off of and stuff. And the maps are really compacted and good for camping and stuff. Not really feeling it, but whatever. I guess they're going to bring back some Modern Warfare 2 maps and Call of Duty 4 maps. So that'll make me happy. But overall, a pretty good game. The knifing's pretty fun on it. It's a little challenging. It seems like you die really fast in this game compared to, like, I don't know, Call of Duty 4 or whatever. Like, you can duck behind corners after you get shot and come back, you know, but not so much on this game. But I still I still do enjoy it. That was a little bit of a fail right there. <laughs> Thought that was going to go out the door, but not so much. Um, yeah, mostly just recording for a dual touch right now. Not going to do... Too much commentary stuff, I don't think, on Modern Warfare 3. I mean, I'll maybe do some here and there. I'll probably do, like, live commentaries because my viewers, you guys, seem to like it a little bit more. I'm not really... I don't think I have a great voice for commentary stuff. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I think I'm kind of boring to listen to. I mean, I'm honestly about to fall asleep just doing this commentary because I'm bored to shit listening to myself. Um, but anyways... Uh, I don't know. Some stuff, like, has pissed me off in this game. Like, getting spawn killed or... Just some kind of like BS deaths, you know what I mean? Like, you'll see one in this game where I just, I shouldn't have died. Like, the guy just, um, that probably pissed that guy off right there. But, like, I'll spawn run around a corner and just get mowed down. I've found that you have to take things a little bit slower in this game if you want to succeed. It's not really like Modern Warfare 2 where you can just run around and whip a knife from your hip and get a kill. Although, I have had some pretty crazy kind of commando lunges on this game. It, it's, like, really inconsistent, though, which I think is, it's fair enough. If it was like commando lunge all the time, then I could see where people would get pissed, but it's really not all the time. Um, but you really have to play smart. Like right here, I was just trying to play smart. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to run out there like an idiot and get killed. I'm just going to go hide, see where they go. There goes the guy. But then I get shot from this guy. I had no idea. Where, I, he just kind of like jumped over there. And, you know, it seems like the player movements are so much faster in this game. Like there's literally like just, it seems like they're like squirrels on Mountain Dew and cocaine. They're just sprinting around the map. It's so ridiculous. Especially like with that perk, uh, or like the death streak reward, which is really stupid if you ask me, but they like sprint across the map. They're like faster than a Kenyan Olympic sprinter. It's ridiculous. I don't know how they justify that death streak. Um, I've been rocking the one with like where it kind of shows you where the guy that killed you is last. If you die a lot, you probably don't die a lot because you're probably good at this game, my viewers. Um, but believe it or not, I do get death streaks. I mean, it happens like once in a blue moon, but when I do, you know, <laughs> I go with that for my, uh, death streak thing. I've been using, uh, scavenger a lot, as you can see on this video. Assassin Pro, I just got, not too long ago. Uh, it seems kind of like the obvious choice for a knifer. And, uh, I'm using, well, I'm gonna be using Dead Silence when I get that. I'm just kind of grinding through, trying to get that with some double XP going on right now. Hi, Torture Trilogy. Torture Trilogy is signed on. But yeah, overall, uh, pretty good game. So, like, right here is kind of like a BS death. Like, that shouldn't have ever happened. I mean, what the hell, Treyarch? Or whoever made this game now, Sledgehammer Games. <laughs> I don't even know how you come up with Sledgehammer Games. That just sounds so dumb. Like, oh, I want to name my... Hey, you guys, it's it's Pitch Shovel Games here with a uh, new Call of Duty game. But... No, it's definitely time for a new Call of Duty. I'm very happy about having something new to play. You know, Black Ops was good, but it just got boring. Like, listening to the same gun sounds, I know how crazy that sounds, but, like, that monotony of just boring, like, gun sounds just drives me nuts. And just the same maps over and over again just really gets dull. So this is kind of nice. At least you have something new to explore. But, like, really, you can't climb on anything. It's kind of stupid. Like, that right there, that little thing, I mean, and, and like, there's towers on that map, uh... I don't even know what the maps are called. I think it's called Outpost. It's like a snowy map, which I love that map, by the way. You can't, like, climb up on the towers or anything. It's like, come on, man. That'd be so perfect to, like, Sam Fisher a kid from, you know, throw a knife at him from across the map. But, oh, well, hopefully, like, when they bring back some new maps or they come out with some new maps, which I I don't think they're coming out with any until, like, January, which kind of sucks. But, 
Oh well. Uh, here's a nice little throwing knife kill, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I thought it was coming up there. Alright, well, here's one, I guess, too, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I I need more, more verticality in my maps, so... And also, I'll agree with only using Blade. They really should uh, buff, I guess you'd call it, the extreme conditioning. Make it so you can run a little bit farther. I don't think Marathon Pro is necessary, but... Make it more worth my while to use that perk. Uh, but anyways... Looking forward to Assassin's Creed Revelations. That's going to be pretty sweet. If you live in the U.S., you can get it at Best Buy for... I think it's like $35 on Black Friday. So, like, if you're thinking about getting it, you might as well get it there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not, like, getting paid by Best Buy to say that. <laughs> I just want to, you know, help out my my loyal viewers. Those of you who are actually still watching this. <laughs> if you're not falling asleep or have clicked out. Uh, I thought it was kind of ironic I just got knifed for the last death. I mean, I was really hoping I got I get that guy and, you know, whatever, but the game wasn't going to end anyway, so. Oh, well. At least it wasn't on the final kill cam, which is kind of weird, too. I don't know why it doesn't show the very last kill, but maybe it's because you have to get the tags. Who knows? Alrighty, whatever. Thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy. Have a good rest of your Modern Warfare 3 experience. Peace. Dual Tajus Blade coming soon. <laughs>